acupressure and wellness fan is Diego Roy. And today I wanted to share with you uh, just a simple postural technique of how to reverse text neck and how to decrease neck and shoulder pain and tension as the result of long hours sitting at a computer or on a smartphone. Text neck is the development of like a spinal change that happens as a result of looking at content that is not eye level. So if you're if you're looking at content, online content that is below here or all the way down where your head turns down like this and from the neck you turn down, you're gonna develop what's called text neck. And text neck is the term, is like the, the general layman's term that came about physical therapists and other people in the health care field refer to it as a kyphotic arch or a kyphotic curve. Now a kyphotic arch or a kyphotic curve is where your spine bends forward in a semi-permanent to permanent state. And if you continue to view content the way I mentioned, what will happen over time is the muscles in the front of your upper body begin to tighten just by nature of everything being shortened and then the muscles behind your neck and in the upper upper back area begin to extend because they're in like a position of extension and then what happens is it begins to you can develop bone spurs in your spine as a way for the body to try to stabilize and hold this big bowling ball neck and the more you can be in proper alignment spinal alignment I'll tell you what that looks like and what that feels like the less likely you are to develop bone spurs in your neck and have major pain issues and range of motion issues with your neck because of what develops from the kyphotic arch and, and, and the kyphotic curve you know like the hunchback of Notre Dame, right? He's got this curve on the high part of his back and that's what we're all looking like and that's what our young people are beginning to look like because of how we're viewing content. So it's, the first tip I want to mention is <clears throat> to know what a straight spine or proper spinal alignment looks like. Now I'm going to refer to my chart behind me and again I have to apologize today I don't have my mic so my my speech may go in and out, but I'll do my best to talk loud. Looking at the body from the side position, proper spinal alignment is when the major joints of the body along the spine, so the head, the shoulders, the hip, the knee, going all the way down to the, the whole body, and the ankle, everything is on one vertical line. So when you look at someone sideways, that's what you're assessing is are all the major joints on the body stacked above each other and if they are that person has great posture and great spinal alignment you know you think of ballet dancers and you notice that their chins are slightly tucked and that they're extending to the top of their head and their shoulders are back and down whenever we do excessive computer work desktop or lab taken off of that that proper stacking of joints on a vertical line yeah so proper spinal alignment looks like all the major joints of the body are stacked one on top of another in a vertical line <coughs> okay so what uh, a straight spine feels like is when you're sitting or standing get a feel for this uh, from your waist up, you want to have this feeling of extension and projection straight up and kind of almost like you're from the top of your head, you're drawing your spine up and from your waist where you're sitting down or standing, you're, you're kind of, you're almost pulling down towards the earth and you got this slight extension going, right? You're raising the upper half and you're, and you're holding firm with the lower half, yeah? <clears throat> So you get this feeling of expansion in the middle of your body, OK? 
okay? So that's, that's just a general sense of what it feels like to be in straight alignment. Now, each of us has a unique holding pattern, how we sit, how we stand, how we walk, how we move. And the challenge is on a moment by moment basis to be aware of what our individual holding pattern is and what our tendencies are. For me, my left shoulder tends to creep up a little and I have some other stuff going on. And what, I, what I try to do throughout the day, and it is a moment by moment practice is, I do like a check-in and I get an idea of where I am what I may feel is normal posture. If someone looks at me, someone with a trained eye will see all the imbalances that are going on and the compensations that are going on. So to have an example of what it is to be straight, may feel, and to put yourself, if someone were to put you in what looks like straight posture, may feel very, very strange to you because you become accustomed to a posture that is misaligned. Anyway, so getting back to what it feels like to, to be in proper alignment. So we're, we have that extension going from our, our head up and our waist down and that feeling of expansion in the middle of our bodies. <clears throat> um, what I want to do next now is have you think of the front chest bone right here as being the point of contact where a string comes up and connects here and you're a kite. So you're a kite, you're in proper alignment. And as that little boy or little girl's pulling on that string and getting that kite to rise up high in the sky, you are in complete alignment within your body, proper posture. And as that string is being your chest and as you raise your chest what happens is your shoulders your you raise your chest and then your head comes back it naturally comes back and you then from that raised chest position what happens you'll notice is your shoulders you can you can you'll feel a slight contraction of the muscles between your shoulders like they want to pull in and so as you raise your chest Next thing to do is raise your shoulders, roll them back, and let them drop down. That's naturally where they should be. So you've got slight raise in the chest. The shoulders have come up to your ears. They've rolled back and they've dropped down. That's exactly where they should sit. And then lastly, just tuck your chin just slightly and feel a little extension through the crown of your head up. And so you put all those components together and... Though it may not feel proper to you, this is proper postural alignment. And you can practice this moment by moment throughout a given day. And that's all it takes is just moment by moment practices, practice and begin linking those moments together so you have a longer period of time where you're aware of your posture and you're counteracting the ill effects of text neck. And you don't get the accelerated aging um, physically or in appearance from Texnet. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.